morning, everyone. How's everyone doing today on this uh, Sunday? I woke up to snow, um, not on the ground, it was snowing. And I'm glad it's not anymore. So that was good. Um, snow looks pretty for about 24 hours. So how is everyone today? I have these little wood cutouts. Um, and if you wanted to read my cryptic message in the description up there, it's supposed to say painting snowman ornaments, but, um, I don't know. My keyboard was delayed, so I'll go back and fix that later. But anyway, I am painting snowman ornaments started with this. Step two is this and who wants to chit chat while I paint. We are going to the airport today. Daughter number one is going to Iceland for five days. She is very excited. It's a tour thing. And I think she's gonna have a really good time. So we have to take her to the airport. We're about an hour and a half to two hours from the airport, depending on uh, traffic, of course. So that's one snowman head what are you guys doing today on this lovely sunday i may not be able to you know what i should do i should pull you all up on my phone this way if anybody has comments i can see them you know i can't um type and talk but uh i will try and respond to your questions I'm busy, busy, busy. First of all, it's the holiday season, so um, a lot of gift giving, of course. And so I've been busy with my shop and whatnot, but um, my girlfriend and I are organizing a market. So we're doing a little handmade market on December 4th. So I'm making product for that too. Hopefully, it'll go well. It's our first annual handmade market at Little Miss Sew It All. But uh, hopefully, it'll go well and it'll become an annual thing. We have 10 vendors so far, uh, including Melissa and I. Um, she makes beautiful handmade totes and purses. And she might be doing these little... Uh, um, Baby items too, I'm not sure, I'd have to ask. Then we have a candle vendor, uh, jewelry, um, a woman who does crystals. Um, what else? I, this, a guy contacted me about, he does wooden puzzles. I don't know, maybe the date didn't work for him because he, uh, I didn't hear back from him, but I thought that was a good idea too. Maybe I'll reach out again this week and ask him what the deal is. Um, so that's it. Looks like it's, you know. Oh, we have um, acrylic tumblers and keychains. So quite a variety. Um, only handmade. No multi-level marketers. Or, uh, yeah, I got you up on my phone so I can see. No multi-level marketing or... Um, Stuff that people buy wholesale and then try and sell for a profit. Nothing like that. Handmade, handmade only. So we're going to provide some snacks. And uh, it should be a fun evening. If you're local and you're watching this on the replay, come on down. It's December 4th um, from 7 to 9.30. Yesterday I made these really cute um, snowmen sticks and uh, Santa sticks. They came really cute. But I can't show you guys everything. Got to make something a surprise, right?
Last night we went to surprise, talk about surprise. We went to surprise daughter number two at her job. She waitresses at night. So we went there for, uh, she works at a barbecue restaurant. It was yummy. I had fried chicken. Who doesn't love fried chicken? It's good when I do more than one because while I'm base coating the rest, the previous ones are drying and then I can just go back and add the eyes and the mouth and whatever else I'm gonna put on there. Who's ready for Thanksgiving? Who's hosting Thanksgiving? We're hosting um, my niece is coming with her three kids and my nephew's coming with his two girls. My brother-in-law is coming. Um, and my brother-in-law's sister is coming. So it should be a nice afternoon. We're also going to be celebrating my niece's 40th birthday, but don't tell her. Shh. Yes, my niece is 40. I can't believe it. I was 14 when she was born. Want to hear something interesting? So my sister was 14 when I was born. I was 14 when my niece was born. And then my niece was 14 when my first daughter was born. Isn't that weird? Odd how those things happen, right? Some of them had a little too much blue around, but that is the beauty of acrylic paint. You just go back over and change up, fix what you don't love. Okay. I'm gonna count some cheeks in here now. Gotta make sure I keep them all going the same way. They all have a little hole. I'll have like a Santa face that's all cockeyed. Oh, I lost you on my phone, so I can't see if I'm getting, oh, there we go. Any messages or comments or anything. Do a tiny bit of this, tiny, tiny bit. Ta yep. Just wanna add some cute little cheeks. I'll put you down again so you can see what I'm doing. I always save the eyes for last. Even if you don't paint, you gotta know the eyes are the hardest. Okay. All right, there we go. A little black. 
And then I want the cheeks to um, dry because I'm going to go over them. One of the cheeks at least will have um, the nose over it, so that has to be dried too. Funny how we see them piece by piece, step by step. Hi, Donna. Good morning to you. What's going on? Got plans for Thanksgiving? I am painting little round. Wood cutout snowman ornaments if you just joined me. I know the description was a little cryptic, but my um, keyboard was not cooperating. So I just hit go live and that was it. So I'm going to add my nose. Which one's dry? These are dry. Get a little uh, shading, then I go back in with a liner brush too. Get a little bit more dimension to my nose. Not my nose, my nose has enough dimension. Runs in the family. Good morning, Leanne, thank you. Order. What's everybody doing today? Oh, I have to make a call soon. It's my little uh, great niece's second birthday. We can't go because we're going to the airport. Just adding a little detail to the nose. The little carrot nose. Okay, now on to the eyes. Like I said, the eyes are always the hard part. <clears throat> I 
I'm going to finish one and show you what I'm going to do with it after I do the eyes. And a little white. This way you can see the finished product. Okay, there's the eyes. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this. <clears throat> I think I'll use this one. I'm gonna cut a little bit of, little strip of flannel here. I don't wanna get paint all over my material. It's about, I guess, eight inches. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a pencil, see if this will work, and push it through the hole here. Can you see what, let me put you down a little bit more. Push it through the hole. Oh, that's not working. Oh, my pencil broke. Okay, I need something else. Oh, I could use these. My tweezers will probably work. Take the end, push it through. I want to be able to grab it out the other side. Okay. Cut those little bits off later. But a knot. Like so. And then I even might add a little bit of take a little bit of this other flannel. Let's see. I'm experimenting here with this part. Make it a little bit wider. I want it to be even, Steven. Then maybe I'll take this, I'm putting a knot in it, almost evenly. And then maybe I can either hot glue it on there like that, or gotta get my hot glue. I didn't do that because this was a last minute thought with this part. Or Somehow cut it a little bigger and hot glue it on like this to hang off. You get the idea, but I need my hot glue for that. I think that'll look cute. I think I'll do that. I think I'll cut larger pieces and put the little piece of flannel. I'll get my hot glue gun all warmed up and then we'll have two little trails down here like that. What do you think guys? Thanks Amy. So, there you have it. Little snowman ornaments. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, guys. Um, I will uh, get out the hot glue gun, take a couple pictures, and show you what they look like. Maybe I'll do the, um, the scarf both ways and glue it on. We can, and you guys can decide which one you like better. Thanks. Have a great day.